people have made it to Milford Sound and it just does not look real. I think today is going to be so good, so incredible. We are taking off something amazing from our bucket list, something that we've always wanted to do. Right here at home in New Zealand, we are going to be going on a full day trip to the Milford Sound. It's going to be a long one though, 6 a.m. at the moment. So we're doing a trip with Southern Discoveries. They're the only one that offer the coach, cruise, kayak. And then we're doing the coach back as well. So 6 a.m. and we don't get back in town until 9.30 p.m. It's gonna be a huge day, but I can already tell it's gonna be worth it. Definitely. So whenever we talk to people all over the world and we say that we're from New Zealand, they always say to us, oh, New Zealand isn't the Milford Sound, just beautiful. And we awkwardly have to tell them, um, we have never been. <laughs> it's so bad. We really, this is why it's a bucket list for us because it's such a beautiful place and it's somewhere that we have wanted to go for such a long time. There's nobody around. I know, it's so peaceful. I think the only people out are the ones going on big adventures today. So we are hoping, I mean, I don't like saying this before we go out on a day trip because you never really know, but according to the Southern Discoveries website, there's a chance that we might see, um, penguins there's some seal colonies and then when you do the cruise you get to go in and under or like right up towards some um, some waterfalls and beyond that it's just supposed to be just one of the most exceptional places that you can visit in terms of scenery as well so it's all leading up to good things good morning good morning with Dane and Stacy Dane and Stacy you are too welcome aboard folks. Thank you very much. we are underway so we'll get out of Dodge here and I'll give you some of the heads up about the day. All that you see about you was carved out by the Wakatipu Glacier some 12,000 years ago as it ground its way south, carving out this landscape. And on your right, this is a bit like Old McDonald's Farm, a right menagerie. You've got sheep, horses, goats, alpacas, pigs, all running around together. A couple of hours in, it's our first stop in Tianao. It's nicely broken up. One thing that I love is look at this. We've got a whole skylight here, so as we're kind of like driving along, you get a bit of a, a bit of a view the whole way down the bus. Just over two hours in now, was it? Maybe just over two hours, so we've got a coffee stop, a toilet stop, we've just eaten some food, we had pie for breakfast. <laughs> there was other options, but kind of felt like the right thing to do. All the essentials, chippies, and coffee. Glaciers. Wow. Look at look at it right the way down there, river as well. We've just been driving through Fjordland National Park. It is so beautiful. Apparently it's one of the wettest places on earth as well. Yeah, it rains 200 days a year on average here. It's the wettest place in New Zealand. And these glaciers, they're U-shaped, they're glacial valleys, so they're formed by the way that the glaciers would go through, rather than being water, which was a V-shaped valley. I didn't know that before, but it kind of makes a lot of sense when you stand here and you look through all the places we've been driving, there's, yeah, there's a lot of like these U's in all of the valleys. While we're here, we might as well try some fresh glacial water. I feel like that's the right way to do it. Smooth. No, I mean, the, you can see there's a little bit of like slime and stuff on the rock, but the water is like fresh and cold too. Our third and final valley, the Kladai, there was 2,000 meters thick pack ice at the top of the valley here. It ground its way out the sea, taking thousands of years to do so. And in doing so, carved out this, the Kladai Valley pathway down to Milford Sound, 2,000 metres thick back ice. 
Well, I've made it to Milford Sound and it just does not look real. Some of the peaks are just, they're so sheer, they're just so high. It's, it really is insane. Something else that's insane is it's actually been five hours since we left Queenstown. That's how quickly it has gone. And that might seem like a long time to be in the bus and sort of cruising along, but um, I think probably averaged about one stop every hour so for us it hasn't felt like that long and we're kind of shocked to hear that it's almost 12:30. we're actually leaving on this boat at 1 p.m. for the cruise portion I am absolutely loving this so far I I actually can't believe that it's it's been five hours or something and the cruise portion of this has only just started so we just got on board we had a kiwi buffet style lunch there was all sorts of stuff chicken lamb pork Salads, kind of something for everybody. Ice cream. Ice cream <laughs> and buns. Um, but it's so hard being inside because we've or we're already underway and we were eating lunch, kind of like looking out every window. <laughs> like we cannot wait to get upstairs and outside. Although I can see people outside and it looks like it's going to be quite cold and windy. So we'll see. There they are. The boat for photos too. Just remember your own two BDIs to do these wonderful landscapes and vistas justice. I can't believe how close I get. Skipper literally puts the boat, the bow of the boat, right almost underneath the waterfall. But it's too wet out there for cameras. It's awesome to see, but it's kind of crazy how close we are. Yeah, what? we're so close. Wow, so we've got two hours on board, although we've probably used up half an hour or so getting on, eating, getting underway, getting getting a bit warmer <laughs> because we've been told, you never know if they're, t if they're lying or not, but they're, they're saying that today of all days, everybody we've spoken to in terms of like Skipper, the guy giving the, the commentary, the staff that we've met, Greg, our driver, are like today is an absolute blessing. It should not be this sunny and it is not typically this warm. It must be us. I think we bring the good weather with us everywhere we go because people said the same thing when we were in Scotland. And when we arrived in Queenstown two days yeah. ago. Yeah, that's us. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks mate. Thank Alright, so on to the next thing. So there's a quick announcement over the speaker then to say that everyone who's kayaking is jumping off at this stop. So we're going to walk down, get suited up, jump onto a platform and basically we're going kayaking right now. Easy? Stace, easy? Yeah, made it. Uh, I don't quite know how this is going to work. Well, just push us in. well it all happened quite quickly but we're now in the water. We're officially kayaking in the Milford Sound. There's a snow-capped mountain right there, possibly the most snow that we've actually seen since we've been on the road. Yeah, because there's no snow back here, but there is facing this way. We also managed to get our first glacial facial by going under 100... Towards that black boy. That's Scotty. 150 meter waterfall, and as you would have seen, we got absolutely soaked. But for now, I'm leaving Stace up to full paddle mode. You got this, babe? I'm pretty heavy. <laughs> You're doing well. Okay. Love the views though. That mountain, eh? So beautiful. Oh yeah, it works. <laughs> do you want to do a loud noise? No, thank you. <laughs> no, I'm um, 
too much of a lady for that. <laughs> There's an incredible echo here. Yo! That was pretty bad, okay. actually. Uh, nearly. Once upon a time, if you let your imagination run wild for a second, that remnants of the glacier filled this entire valley. It's as wide as the cove, and all the way up to the top of the Cascade Range. only four hours old because it just melted off the glacier up there so technically you can drink it go on have a little sip <laughs> just a little go on have a day. <laughs> oh it tastes pretty good i'm gonna get all wet if i do this <laughs> or i'm gonna capsize you gotta do it you only drink once from milford town <laughs> <laughs> So we just finished up with kayaking, that was so much fun. But this day just keeps on going, there's more. The next thing we're doing is the underwater observatory and I think it goes 10 meters under. Yeah, it does, it does. So I don't know what we're gonna see, but we're just about to join in with a group. Probably stop talking so loud and go check it out. Hopefully it's a bit drier because... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it's warm. Mm -hmm. 